Uh, your BPS will generally come packaged in a box like this. You'll open the box. want to save the phone and the box uh, when you want to ship it back or move it to another location. What you'll find is when you open this, um, this is the BPS system. You'll have a packet of tubing. This is for the inlet and outlet of the uh, system. Uh, you also have a power cord. You can run off of a car battery attaching 12 volts uh, to these two terminals, or you can plug this into a wall outlet. The power supply that is in the BPS behind this panel is self-selecting and will run on 110 or 220, and frequency uh, is not a concern. You'll want to take this, you'll want to inspect that everything is in the box, nothing's broken, make sure the connector's plugged in, You'll want to open your package. The, the one with the filter and the primer bulb is for the inlet of the pump. That, that tubing is in here. You'll want to take the male and the female quick connect and put those together and assure that they are tight. This is the outlet tubing and you will want to put this on the top part of the electrolytic cell. Now, we have just grabbed a bucket. Uh, your containers will vary in size, and what you'll want to do is take some water source and fill your bucket. You'll also need a second bucket that we have here for the product um, after we've made the mixed oxygen for using in the disinfection process. With the bucket filled, you're going to want to take your inlet tube in this direction, the filter and the primer bowl, place it in the bottom of the bucket. And without power on, I will prime the uh, pump and the electrolytic cell uh, until I have solution come all the way through. Now, assuring that this is turned off, I will take and plug in the power cord. This is the point you plug it into the wall, this is your power source. If you are running on a car battery, um, you will not plug in the cord. You will connect to these uh, two points. What you'll do then is turn the power switch on, and you can see by the display there is no current. Um, you'll want to take salt, put it in your bucket, and stir it really well. Now I am taking the discharge of the cell and running it back into my feed bucket until I reach the desired operating current, which is 10 to 12 amps. And I will continue to add salt and stir. You can also prime it until you see the current change, and this will get your new mixture through the cell quicker. So as you can see, we have gone from zero amps to five and a half amps so far. We are now making a solution, but it's a very weak concentration. And what we're going to do is continue to add salt until we reach 10 amps. Now when you're in the field, I'm doing it this way because generally this is what you're going to have to do in a situation uh, where you need immediate oxidant 
um, and you're outside of a lab environment. As you can see, now we are up to seven and a half amps. And the reason I'm, I'm mixing this by hand um, and doing this is as much as we would like to have a specified mixture, the water temperature and water quality that you're gonna have and possibly the salt quality tends to have a lot of variables in it. Doing it this way will get you to the desired operating window much faster with uh, very little frustration. And as you can see, we are at uh, almost nine amps um, already. So I will add a little more. Now I'm using my arm to stir this up. Um, you're free to use a stick or some other stirring device. So now I'm going to be doing very little amounts of salt because as you can see we're very close to the 10 amp operating range. The system is designed um, Behind this white panel is a printed circuit board that has a self-resetting circuit breaker that will trip out when the system gets greater than 15 amps. The pump will continue to run, so you'll see solution continue through the cell, but if you look closely at the tube, you will see that it gets foamy as it comes out. That is part of the electrolytic process. Um, and some of this that you see is actually hydrogen coming out. Um, at this point, I would say you are, you are making concentration. Um, you can continue to run it into this bucket. Um, it won't hurt. It will only continue to run through the system um, and convert even more salt into uh, your disinfectant, the mixed oxygen. Uh, but at this point, I would take, and now that I'm making at 10 amps, I would take and put this into my fresh bucket and allow all the solution from my feed bucket to transfer into this bucket. When I am done with the system and making a full batch that will be used to disinfect uh, the water, uh, you'll want to put some fresh water in this bucket and run the fresh water through here until you reach uh, zero amperage on the display. Um, unplug the system and drain out as much water as you possibly can. Disconnect everything, put it back the way you found it, repackage it, um, and you're ready to move to another location or use it later. Or you can leave it set up exactly the way it is and just continue to make as many batches as you want um, as long as you need to. Done.